I have around 40 minutes of uh, time on Zoom. In, um, in this time, we will discuss our plan and uh, anything that is related to our uh, upcoming <clears throat> uh, discussions regarding the test. But before we start with the with the test, I want you to describe to me what uh, your plans are for uh, for this week in terms of language. I want you to give me a chance to speak for five minutes about your plan and what you want to do during this this week. Uh, but I want you to be very clear and specific about the kind of activities you plan to do. You mean uh, the usual activity or about uh, our um, program? I'm, I'm talking about, well, we have talked, uh, I have given you a document to read about your daily routine. And also I have given you some materials uh, that are related to our discussion. So my idea is um, I want to see what you plan to do this week in terms of language. What uh, are your expectations in terms of language? In terms of language, can you explain more what mean what you are meaning in terms of language? And يعني um اللي أقصده what are you planning to do within the language domain within the zone of language this week? What do you plan to do? Like you go to gym. I have a plan to lose one kilo this month. I have a plan to uh, uh reduce or drink less. Uh, energy drinks. I have this plan to do this and this and this. So in language, what are your expectations this week? Uh, my plan for this, yeah, I ought to uh, talk for this week or weekend? Um, I'm talking what? about this week. Tomorrow is okay. going to be Sunday. So there yes. is no um, weekend in... Uh, in in the coming two or three days. Okay. Mm. Uh, I I I planned as I did before, uh, to uh, or mm. organize my my day, and uh, you organize your uh, what? My days. How do you organize my day? day? I want you to be very specific. That's mean I will put my pro prior priority like Prior, uh, so. We what have the I, word priority. Priority. Mm -hmm. priority. Priority. Yes. So what I have uh, to do uh, first thing when I when I when I woke up. Mm. Uh, so I I uh, in in period uh, when I when I when I uh, when I uh, woke up I uh, I uh, ab abandon to eat my breakfast just drink the sh supplement. And after that, what? going Why? directly to that's yeah. not healthy because I, because I'm feel not in, in the I'm not in the mood to eat something in the morning. I don't know why, and I I feel um, I am uh, feel like I'm lazy to uh, do my my breakfast uh, by myself. Uh, so I uh, go I I, I go going directly to my PC to try mm. to play play some video games and mm. after that maybe i will eat uh, uh something uh uh like a ch ch like a, ch a ch chicken breast uh and uh and having my uh pre workout drink and uh, doing my workout and do? after that uh it's a, a kind of uh a caffeine for for uh, endurance for endurance men. C four or uh, it's, it's different brands. I I what what I'm using now uh, it's made by uh, I think Muscle Tech uh, company. Uh, the white one. Say again. The white one, the white uh, bottle, right? No, uh, the, the the black the black uh, canteen. Oh, that was muscle milk. Um, I confused it. I got it confused with um, mm -hmm. muscle with tech, milk. not muscle milk. 
Yeah, Not muscle tick. Muscle milk is a different one. I used to uh have it, uh, but uh it was kind of like hurting me. Um because you know I was wondering why it hurts me because you know when I was taking it, this is the one that I used to take. Let me show I you. used it before when I wasn't the staff college i used it when i just uh, uh this one uh, discarded the garbage do you see it yes i i bought i bought it from the bx mm. uh how much did you buy it for i i, I bought one uh canteen the mm. small one when i used you... about uh, three or four scoops and after that uh i will i will uh Discarded, discarded the garbage. Am I talking about discarded? Discard. Why did you discard, discard it? Because uh, it's hard to have my 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 kidney. It, it it did to me. It just yes hurt me so much, and I, I was wondering if it was just me. For some reason, no. I think this is now I can see the connection here, because I mm. when I was taking it, it was just hurting my kidney so much. My kidneys just were killing me. And I was like, there's yes. something wrong with it. I don't think this is normal, you know, when you take it. Uh, I don't think you should. I, and I think that's because the protein level was really high in the, in the ingredients there. So because your exercise is not equivalent to the necessity of the body, uh, it just goes directly filtered to kidneys. And then the kidney doesn't know what to do with it. So it just m malfunction. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know, maybe, maybe this is, uh, I'm saying this is my theory regarding uh, why it hurt me so much when I was taking it. But I was just mm -hmm. thinking, no, maybe this is just me. Uh, but now you say that, uh, I kind of like uh, have some sort of connection here. <laughs> That's very uh, interesting, you know. I, I used it just one time at 2017. And after that, I abandoned it. I'm... Mm -hmm. uh, it didn't uh, come back to use it again. Mm. Okay. So um, now going back to our point of discussion, um, our point of discussion is relevant to um, uh, the fact that we had a plan and the plan is very simple. I have given you uh, documents that I don't want to ignore. You know, I spent so much time working on them. So I really appreciate if you can help me um, explain these documents and starting with the first one. Uh, the first one was about daily routine and it's it's more of reading. I intentionally, yani, Muhammad, added uh, a lot of vocabulary to it. So what I want you to do is simply, uh, I want you to read it and then we'll discuss it. Okay. Um, I can help you if you listen to me and uh, making it uh, available to you. Mm -hmm. So I do appreciate if we can help each other, uh, mm -hmm. not ignoring it, but focusing on the benefit of it. I will read it. Okay. I will read it. Why? Why what? Why do you read it to me? I will read it. Why? Because you spend a lot of time to write it, to type it and uh, write it. And there is a lot of uh, vocabulary in it. And, well, uh, new I will forget the first part because it's not, it's not, um, it's not in the core of the reasons that why I created it to you. Because there's a lot of vocabulary as I, as I heard uh, from you, from you. Yeah. Right. It is talking about my daily routine. Now, everybody a has a, everybody has a routine. Like sometimes you have a a very sluggish routine where you don't feel you're doing anything, especially if you spend a lot of time at work and you're just going back home. So what you need to do is to have some time to relax, even with the relaxation that you have, you still do some sort of daily routine. Mm -hmm. So the closest thing to you is any kind of vocabulary that has to do with daily routine. You know, 
if you are able to express your thoughts um, about daily routine, you would definitely be able to add more thoughts to your daily routine. And that's why um, kind of like building our foundation and, and conversation on daily routine, because it everything stems from the first thing you do in the morning, whether you have coffee or energy drink or um, you go to gym. First thing you do in the morning can affect everything you do later. And everything you do later is part of the daily routine. So if we focus on daily routine, regardless of the fact that I spent a lot of effort to uh, create this sort of daily routine to you, but I think the the major message of why I wrote it to you is it has many words that we need to learn the pronunciation of. So I will help you pronounce them correctly, number one. Number two, you use them. You haven't spent so much time talking in the past week. So you need some time, um, or recovery time. Um, to speak to speak English, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now read it, and then after you read it, uh, you promise me you are going to highlight certain words that you are. Uh, I did. Mm. I already did that. Mm. You mean you want me to read to read it right now, or I or, want uh... I want you to read it. Because number one, it will help you with pronunciation. Second, you will use the words. Um, and third, it's part of the test that you are going to take it later. The test, mm -hmm. the ECL test, uh, English communication um, test, um, is built on reading and listening. And most of reading that you will see is grammar related. You see the point? I'm sorry, I'm looking here at you and I'm looking at the camera here. So just to be sure. Now, I want you to read it. We'll, we'll check and then we'll help your pronunciation. It's really important. Anmar's daily routine, Lieutenant Colonel Anmar, a devoted member of the Iraqi army, mm. starts his daily routine at the crack of the of dawn. So here, up. wait, wait a second. Um, crack of dawn. Um, in Iraq, we say it's like a bridge. It's like a bridge. Yeah, I know. The crack is the shock. The shock is the fire. Now, in English, I'm not going to say... <laughs> I'm not going to say the translation from Arabic to English to refer to that. But I, but I got the idea. I got the idea. I don't care if you get the idea or not. I care if you use it. Mm -hmm. okay. A lot Waking of people, up, listen, a mm -hmm. lot of people know tons of words, but they don't mm -hmm. use them. And if they don't use them, what's the what's the benefit of, of, of these kind of words that they know? So with a crack of down, with a crack of down or dawn, which one? Dawn. 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 Crack of crack of dawn or crack of dawn. Crack of dawn. Um mm -hmm. I want you to stop here. Let's analyze it. Um, let's use it in an example here. Give me an example with a crack of dawn. I want you to be a little bit analytical. Analytical, yani tahlil. Analytical. Um, give me, give it to me as an example. Uh, I'll give you an example. I'll help you. Walid leaves to work. With the crack of dawn. Or at the crack of dawn. Now, okay, I got that. Okay, I got it. I don't care if you got it. I care if you use it. Okay, I will use example. it. No, okay. give me an example of it. Okay. Uh, Major Mayad got a call from the operation center and they told the and they told him to be ready to do his uh, his duty at the crack of dawn crack of dawn give me another example 
Give me another example. Another example. Uh, we we got an uh, intelligence information that the the ISIS groups maybe will attack us at the crack of dawn. <laughs> uh, Islamic State, in Iraq and Syria, right? I love it. Okay, and there is ISIL. Um, um ISIL. ISIL? ISIL. ISIL is the Islamic State in Iraq and Levantine, uh, which means Syria and uh, Lebanon. Organization. Okay, good. You got it. You got it. Um, okay. no, organization. Shimal uh, Atlasi. North Atlantic. Good. Uh huh. Mu'ahadat Hilf Shimal Atlasi. Munadamat Mu'ahadat Hilf Shimal Atlasi. Mu'ahada hiya treaty. Fahiya north. Fifilo contract. No. Treaty. North Atlantic. Oh, Listen, it's 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 not for me. It's for you. Mm -hmm. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. You have to repeat it again and again and again. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. So what's NATO? North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Again. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Again. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. 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 Organization. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. I love you because you are a good student. Now, okay. let's get back. Now, uh, with a crack of dawn, what are the activities that you do? With a crack of dawn. You said prayer. Now, prayer is an activity as much as it's a habit. You know, it helps you uh, with discipline. It helps you with uh, being focused. It helps you with being consistent. Why do you pray in the morning? That's that's the first philosophical question that we always do. Um, I didn't know the benefit of prayer, honestly, until I read a book called the power of habit. I, I I didn't know a prayer. Um what what the purpose of prayer is actually. Uh, but I read that book and it brought all the kind of evidence. It amassed all the amassed yani jama koam yani shon mass mass method weapons of mass destruction as lahat damar shamil fa mass shamil Amas Yajma. And it gave you, um, it gave us in the power of habit um, a recipe, wasfa, uh, that any kind of ordered and disciplined habit that you do every single day consistently, it will just re engineer the rest of your life. Because if you do it uh, behaviorally this way, that will echo on everything else. Um, they call it the ripple of uh, the ripple effect. Tathir al mauja. When you drop a stone, it, it would will make a ripple in the water. You know, so it just affects everything else. I don't want to dominate the conversation. So what do you do with prayer? What do you do in the prayer? Explain to me. What I'm doing with my prayer? It's uh, I don't no, think yeah, I have to... let's 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 imagine I'm a, a brigadier general. Is there mm -hmm. a title called brigadier general, right? That's brigadier. A brigadier or brigadier general. Um and I'm visiting you from NATO, which what is it? What's NATO? North Atlantic Treaty. Uh, North Atlantic Treaty. Uh, no treaty. There is no such a word in English. Treaty. 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 Treaty, treaty organization. organization. Good. Good. It takes you some time to recover, and then you process it correctly. So I'm a brigadier, and I'm. Uh, what's a brigadier in Arabic? I mean. It. Good. So I'm a brigadier and I'm coming from NATO, which is what? 
North Atlantic Treaty Organization. And I come and pay you a visit. And then Gurbin Gidizi pay you, pay, pay you a visit. Mo, mo oh, give you a visit. Pay you a visit. That Falek Ziyar. I pay you a visit at the crack of dawn. And I see you praying, which I haven't seen you before. Um, and you are kneeling on your knees, you know, uh, and your forehead is uh, touching the ground, you know. And you do that kind of mechanical movement back and forth, back and forth, and blah, 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 you know. So this mm -hmm. doesn't make any sense to me. And I and I ask you, and Mar, I mean, listen, it's a it's a daily routine. So what I'm asking you is is to focus on the process of description, the process of storytelling. You have to master how you tell a story to people. If you master that, you master English. Believe me, if you know how to tell a story, you you will get everybody's attention because even God loves stories. You know, think of Quran. It's full of stories because God because God loves stories and loves telling people stories because this is the way people believe, you know, through storytelling, you know. Moses, Isaac, Jesus, Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, um um uh the followers of Prophet Muhammad, um I mean, think of it. It's full of stories. Full full of stories. Pharaohs, the Pharaoh it's full of stories. It's it's all there in in um, in Holy Quran. We have stories about spiders. We have stories about elephants. We have stories about cows. You know, um, we have stories about the whole animal kingdom, probably. And that is for some reason that God advocates for the fact that storytelling is really important. So when I ask mm -hmm. you to talk to me about the process of what you do mechanically in the early morning at the crack of dawn. That's for a reason. So what is it? I want you to tell me what you do with the prayer. First thing, step by step. Rule of three. You remember? Uh, as uh, we are Muslims, we uh, we have uh, learned to uh, do our... Uh, uh, prayer. Prayer. Worshiping the, the ibadah. Prayer. Prayer, worshiping Ibadah, prayer, salah. Ibadah, worship, worshiping Allah. It's have we have to uh, uh, to do prayer five times in the day. the The most important prayers is the the dawn prayers. Uh -huh. the, so you do it at the crack of dawn. I want you to use this ex expression at the crack of dawn. Okay, so so the 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 dawn prayer. Uh, we have to uh, woke up at the crack uh, before the crack of dawn mm. and uh, no we call it شوف ما هي اذا انت تبقى على طريقه تفكيرك ما راح تتحدث انجليزي بسلاسه احنا تحدثنا عن استخدام البدائل ما احنا مم. تحدثنا عن استخدام البدائل انت ما تعرف كلمه وضوء يا اخي انت مو مترجم Inter we are washing our our face and hands. And, I love uh, it. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. That, so we wash, kids. we wash our hands. And, and after kids. that, we uh -huh. are. Uh, and after that, we are heading to uh, to to Mecca. Ah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, because we are believing with uh, we have to uh, facing the Kaaba to to our uh, prayer will be accepted mm -hmm. from by the God. Good. Mm -hmm. And we do we do that for reason. Uh, first of all, uh, it's help us to uh, to dis discipline ourselves to do all. Oh my God! Uh, I love this word. You know, to discipline. You use it as a verb. That's that's beautiful. Keep going. Yes. Discipline ourselves to uh, do our pr prayer and mm. and the specific times to do it. Uh huh. Uh, because because the the dawn prayer is the the hardest one because you have to woke up early. Oh, interesting. Why is it the hardest one? Very interesting. Uh, because you we, we will be uh, sleeping and we you have to woke up, especially in the in the winter. It's be mm. very hard. Mm. Um, let me tell you something, and I'm sorry to interrupt you and cut you in many times. The idea of 
speaking English is a little bit different from the idea of speaking Arabic. In Arabic, we can mm. pause. I mean, well, the basic conversation in English, the basic conversation in English has to have some sense of what you want to say. And I keep saying that. You have to have a structured conversation. The officers, the colonels, the brigadiers that you visit and they visit you, they always tell you what's your plan, what's your strategy, what's your field vision, what's your uh, reconnaissance. Um, they, they ask about something laid down and clear to them in the field so they understand their territory before they start navigating it, you know. And that's really important because you will probably drive in mines field if you don't know where you're heading. Correct? Correct. Um, in, in, in conversation, you got to know where you're heading so you can choose the words clearly. In order to choose words, you have to have a plan. And the plan is very simple. Make your conversation structured. That's what I've been telling you for many months. Um, if you just talk and talk and talk, that's that's kind of rubbish. You have to put all of that in a context, you know? It's mm -hmm. like you're waiting the whole season to harvest dates. That's it. Two more. But you don't know how to market them to people. Then it will rat. Yeah, Hatif said, Hatif, you know? Mm-hmm. Because you don't know how to market it. That's the same thing when you have so many vocabulary, you know, I'm I'm actually really proud that you know this amount of military expressions, security expressions, um, international words and vocabulary. They are really important. But having the magic touch of carefully putting them in a context, clear and simple, that's what I am asking you to do. As an example, you, you've been talking for like many minutes, but you didn't know how you explained to me the steps of doing the prayer. First, first, I walk into the bathroom. I walk into the bathroom and I turn on the التفصيلات الجسينكريسيز يعني تاب دائما الامريكان يقول لك عندك تاب ووتر تاب ووتر ووتر يعني whatever يعني تاب ووتر او فاوسيت فاوسيت هي الحنفيه فلازم تعرفها تكتبها هسه تسمع الدرس ورا ما نكمل هذه ديتيلز هي السيكرت دائما يقول لك ذا سيكرت از ان ذا ديتيلز السر يكمن في التفاصيل فوكس اون ديتيلز Don't just think of the bigger picture. Bigger picture is, is not enough if the details are not beautiful. You know? <clears throat> This is what I wanted to tell you. So you go through the steps. First, second, third, and then after that, later on, you know, you add these kind of details and you will end up with a very good and simple story. And you, you don't have to be the mutanabi of English to say it. Yeah, okay, so you can mm -hmm. you can just simply say it in a very simple way. Try again. Try again. Uh, as we are Muslims, we have learned to uh, do five times of praying to God. Mm. Uh, and the most impo important one is the the dawn, uh, the dawn prayer. Uh, we do. Uh, بس هسه اختلف الموضوع ترى التفصيل التفصيل شلون عدد الصلاه الفجر وي ار يوزينج وي ار يوزينج ذا كراك اوف دون ويتش از بارت اوف يور ديلي روتين اند ذا فيرست بارت اوف يور ديلي روتين رياليستيكلي سبيكينج بطريقه حقيقيه يو دو براير ان ذا مورنينج دونت يو دو براير ان ذا مورنينج يس سو ام فيزيتينج يو فروم ناتو ويتش از وات وات از ناتو ااا North Atlantic uh, uh, Theory Organization. 
treaty organization. Treaty. Treaty. treaty take, organization. take what I say seriously, please. Um, okay, I'm talking, I'm taking it seriously. So it's North Atlantic Treaty Organization. You use it more than me. Okay. You 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 have contact. You have contacts mm. with NATO more than me. You can test them um and tell them what's NATO. And you play with this word, it's very beautiful. It's like a bullet, you know. <laughs> so so the idea is that I visit you, I came over at crack of dawn. Uh, and I see you praying, which is the first thing I do in the daily routine, you know? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm stopping here because I don't care how much uh, we take in the lesson as much as how, depth, how deep we go through the details of it. Because once you start to explain the details, if you're struggling with details, we need to practice details, you know? It's very important. If you're not mm -hmm. good with details, what's the point of talking about so many things? If you're not good with details, uh, the idea of um, of of speaking with enough details will give you the chance to be better than any person who drinks a lot of uh, alcohol and he doesn't make sense of what he's saying. He's just saying so much, you know, garbage um, that doesn't make any sense. So you need to be very clear. You need to watch speeches by King Abdullah, Obama, Donald Trump, any you know public figure. And then you learn how you, how they use these kind of expressions. Like you can listen to them and say, well, that's very simple. I understand everything that they're saying. Now let's mm -hmm. practice saying that. In reality, complicating things is easier than simplifying things. Complicating things, easier than simplifying? Yes. Can you explain that more? Uh, I, I have... Uh, I have an office. I can make the procedure for uh, anybody who's visiting my office more difficult than normal. I can complicate things, but it takes a lot of thinking to simplify things. Let, let's think of the Iraqi government. Is it harder for them to complicate things when you go to government offices or to simplify them? Is it is it easier for decision makers to complicate them or to simplify them? Complicate action. تعقد أو تعقيد. تعقد يعني أنت تقدر أنت الأسهل عليك تعقد الأمور لا تبسطها. Of course, simplify them. لا تعقيدها أصعب. تعقيدها أسهل. تعقيد أسهل. أي تعقيد أسهل. هسا الحكومة يعني مثلا خلينا نتحدث. أي دائرة حكومية إذا تريد تخلي الإجراء مالتها بس يعني سهل أس أصعب عليك لو ت... لو تعقد الإجراء على المراجعين أصعب عليك طبعا الأسهل عليه س... لواقع الحال عقد إجراءات على المراجعين أي عقد هو هنا القضية but simplifying things is is harder than complicating things تسهيل الإجراءات هو أصعب من تعقيد الإجراءات. Wow. So when when we speak English, we need to make it simpler. And to make it simpler, it's harder than complicating things, because you can talk for like facing the uh -huh. facing facing the Kaaba and uh, doing our uh, worship uh, as we learned from the Islamic books. Mm -hmm. uh, we are. Uh, Pray to to the We are we are praying uh, for uh, a minutes or two minutes, and after that we are maybe uh, uh, supplicate the God. Allah, اللي هو ندعو الله. Supplicate Allah, and then maybe we are reading uh, a bit of uh, Quran, mm. and after that if we we will do it uh, after that. We are going outside to do our uh, uh, PT. What is PT? PT, <coughs> PT that means we are doing the the, uh, the early workout before oh. breakfast. Okay, sounds good. Now, at this point, 
what I want you to do, I'm I'm gonna give you a really hard time next time when you when you explain this to me. I want you to focus on the details of it, more details of it. Like, okay. for example, when you talk about the prayer, I want you to explain to me the structure of prayer. Without, I mean, for rak'ah, maybe two kneels on the ground or something like that. And then you just mm -hmm. sequentially develop this conversation. Nobody starts from, you know, the top. We gradually develop that. Now go to second page that I gave you of the debate topics. I want you to read the first topic. First topic, moral dilemma. Moral dilemma. Number one. Okay. Number one, just read the first first line. Iraq is facing a, a severe refugee. Severe. Severe. Okay. Severe. Okay. Severe. Refugee. Refugee. Severe. Refugee. Crisis. Crisis. As metlajin. Taban. El mawdu ala hisir ani vid wujhat nadarak. Hada as ma ikhlaqia biha khiaran. Khiar al awal tard al lajin. والخيار الثاني توطينهم بس أعطاهم وظائف هي مخصصة للعراقيين مثل ما دا يصير بالأزمة السورية ودخول القطاع السوري في في المطاعم وال يعني في الجانب العراقي شيء نوعا ما واقعيا خلي أحكيها بالعربي راح أجاد لك الوجهة وجهة النظر مالتك راح تكون مختلفة عن وجهة النظر مالتي قصدي من الجدال هو الاستفادة من الوسائل اللي ممكن بها تقنعني أوكي أنا ما مو نهائيا ما راح ما أقتنع لا راح أقتنع بس لازم تكون أقتنع إذا كانت شرط إذا كانت تركيبة ال discussion مالتك structured متهيكلة بها هيكلية مقدمة و يعني second and third reason and fourth reason اللي هي اللعبة اللي إحنا تعلمناها أوكي أوكي our next meeting is on Monday, the day after Monday. tomorrow, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. So our topic is the moral dilemmas. Daily routine. I read the track is the prayer, Sean. So we have a process. Or I don't care, Sarah Habas. I care more of how simplistic you can put it at crack okay. of dawn. And then here, mm -hmm. process. Lazim to a process of describing things. And then the moral okay. dilemma is the crisis of refugees, the severe crisis of refugees. اللي هو moral dilemma number one. 